videoing? Yeah, it's videoing. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, it's Ashlyn. So, in today's video, I'm going to be doing like a get ready with me and that's pretty much it. So, uh, this is actually my like pretty much official first video with my camera. It's really exciting because it is so much better quality and we're going to be getting ready. I have some coffee. It's like, it's from the Keurig. It's like some Starbucks medium roast with some like Reese's peanut butter cup creamer. It's really good. Okay, I'm sorry if I look up here a lot. I'm still getting used to the camera. It's like weird looking right into the camera. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm pretty much just gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine. It stays pretty much the same. But like I kind of change up my products throughout the week or, or not throughout the week like each Sunday I like to change up my products So it's not like the exact same every week, but it's the same idea So I'm first gonna start out with moisturizer. I've been using this moisturizer lately. It's the origins original skin It's a matte moisturizer super duper cool. So it makes your face like matte instead of super greasy and stuff So I like to use this one in the morning and then the Clinique moisture surge at night because more hydrating okay so the next thing I do is primer so literally every week like no matter what my other products are I will use the benefit professional face primer you guys probably know what this looks like so I just put this like where my pores are larger there's something in here I just um, put it pretty much in my t-zone and like all my cheek area and that's like all I put I don't put it all over my face I don't know if the camera quality, I, I know the camera quality is definitely better, but I didn't like change any settings on my camera. So I'll probably have to play around with that, but I just wanted to do this video kind of just as like a trial. Hopefully it's like fine, but I'm not really sure. And a lot of times I'll literally just use the professional, but for the sake of the video, I'll do another primer on the rest of my face. I do like doing this, but some days when I'm in a rush, I don't, but I'm I'm going to be using this primer. I know it's like $75 or something like that, but it was sent to me through Octoline not too long ago and I really like it. <laughs> I hate using it in this video because you definitely don't need a primer this expensive, like at all, at all. Um, I got it from Octoline, uh, so I'm going to use it. This is the Guerlain primer. It has like gold flakes in it, literally. <laughs> I don't use a lot and a little bit goes a long way with this primer but when I'm out of this I definitely won't be repurchasing it I mean I didn't purchase it in the first place but I definitely won't be getting another one just because of how expensive it is and I just feel bad using it in videos then after that I'll either do my eyebrows or I'll go onto my face but today I'm just gonna go onto my face because I feel like that's what I usually do I use my elf concealer as you can tell it's very not new looking at all but the lid broke, so I had to break it all off. And I don't like to use a ton of concealer. It kind of just depends on the day, but um, usually I'll just go like a little bit under my eyes. And then some right here. Can you even see what I'm doing? I feel like I'm really far away from the camera. Down my nose a little bit. And then down here. And I don't like to do my forehead yet because I don't want to dry. Because that would not be good. I'm scooting up. I'll start with my finger just to like blend it out a little bit. I don't blend it out all the way though. Um, so then I'll just take my Ofra sponge. It was also sent to me through Octoly not too long ago. So I just like to blend it out. And yeah, it just makes it look more natural if you blend it out with your finger and then with a the sponge. And it also is like easier. I don't know. And I'll just carry it onto my eyelids too. For my forehead, I'll just take some, put it in any problem areas and then between my eyebrows and out a little bit yeah I feel like I'm really bright right now but I don't know how to make this like different we're gonna have to go with it let me know in the comments how you think this camera is like how do you like this if you didn't watch my unboxing video it's the Canon G7X Mark II as you can tell that concealer just evened out my skin tone but it didn't like cover up my problem areas so I'm just gonna go back and then seek out any problem areas and fix them don't blend it in right away because then it'll just like wipe everything off you just have to like let it sit there for 
just a, just a few seconds and then you can blend it in and it adds more coverage if you didn't know also why am i so bright oh that's zooming it in okay so then i like to blend it in with my finger and it just you get more coverage that way all right so concealer is done and i don't like to do foundation or anything like that because it's just kind of too much for me so i'm now going to use powder and just set my whole face so i like to use this becca powder this powder is like my favorite powder ever it's the coolest thing it's like 50 percent water and 50 percent powder and then you just open it up like this and then i don't know how to show you guys this yeah there you go so it's like one of those trampoline things and it picks up the powder and it's literally the coolest thing. I don't use a beauty blender to put on my powder. I just use this e.l.f. brush. I don't really know what it's called. And I just put it under my eyes first and then on the rest of my face. Okay, I don't use a lot of powder. I just use enough to set my face so my face doesn't get greasy throughout the day. Okay, why am I so bright? I'm trying to fix the brightness because I look really bright. That's better, right? That's better. Okay, cool. Next, I'm going to go in with bronzer. So I love the Hoola bronzer. I just got this one in a set from Sephora. I got the Hoola mini. Um, I have the Hoola Light and I love it, but the regular Hoola like bronzes up my face better and I just really like it. So I'm going to be using this and I've been using it pretty much like every day since I got it. Where is my brush? So I use the ColourPop F14 brush to put it on. I love these types of brushes to use with bronzer. What? It just like diffuses the bronzer instead of just like putting it on harshly. I don't know. It's super easy to blend out and it's really fast. Okay, so I just did bronzer. As you can tell, it didn't do like a whole lot. On camera, it doesn't look like it did a lot, but in person, you can definitely tell my face is more bronzed up. Nothing too special there. Um, I do like to keep it natural, so I don't like to like contour my face, but I just bronze it up, add some dimension and color. Then I will go back in with the bronzer and I'll use the Morphe M433 brush, which is just like, I feel like such a beauty guru, but it's just like this type of brush and... It's super easy to do eyeshadow with, but I just take this bronzer and put it into my crease just a little bit. Sometimes I don't do this, but sometimes I do. So, might as well include it in the video. Blush. So, um, my favorite blush of all time is the Tarte Blush in the shade Party. It's super good, as you can tell. I love it. Um, but it's just such a pretty color. Also, a really good thing about Tarte Blushes is that they last all day. They don't wear off throughout the day, and they're just really good so i just use this brush it's actually from shop miss a it's a dollar and it's the aoa studio f13 brush i don't do a ton of ton because i don't want to look like a clown but i like to add the color back into my face personally i actually really like blush which is definitely kind of an unpopular opinion then i will do brows i don't really like doing my brows so it kind of just depends how i'm feeling a lot of times for school i'll just use the anastasia clear brow gel it is literally like gorilla glue for your eyebrows and it is amazing i recommend this even though it's a 22 dollars brow gel it's really good and yeah mine's just the clear sometimes i'll use a bit the benefit gimme brow mine's in the shade three it's like kind of my shade oh wow it's kind of my shade but a little bit like not warm enough for my brows and a little bit dark but sometimes i use that and then if i actually want to do my brows and just fill them in a little bit i'll use the nyx micro brow in the shade ash brown so today i guess i'm gonna do the gimme brow so don't come at me because i know this isn't like really really my shade it came in the same kit that i got the hula uh bronzer in you know i could zoom you guys in because why not why not zoom you guys in while I do this? Because I feel like you really would just want to know what I'm doing. I really need to get my eyebrows, like, um, 
waxed, but I haven't had time for that. So they're struggling just a little bit right now. And those are the brows. They're definitely not great. And the shape is not there, but it is all right. Okay, I'm zooming you guys back out. This is really close. Actually, you know what? We'll just go ahead and keep it close because we still have mascara to do. So, oh yeah, we need to do highlighter. I'm zooming you guys back out. Okay, so for highlighter, literally sometimes I don't even do highlighter, but we're gonna do it because most of the time I do. But before we do that, I'm gonna use this Bocha white, char white Charcoal Mattifying Makeup Setting Spray. If I do setting spray, this is the time that I do it before highlighter and mascara. And this one's pretty good. That's cool. Um, this is what it looks like. Looks like that. Pretty cool. Just the mini size though. The highlighter that I most love and is my favorite highlighter of all time is the Anastasia Amrezi highlighter. But they don't sell it anymore, which is really, really, really sad. So I'll go ahead and tell you a another good highlighter. Um, so let me just grab that. Another amazing, amazing highlighter is the um, Anastasia Sun Glow Kit. Literally, Anastasia makes the best highlighters ever. Literally, any highlighter that you get from Anastasia, you will love. I love this highlighter kit. really like this highlighter and this highlighter because both of those fit my skin tone. But these two, as you can tell, I've used before. And especially if you're like a makeup artist, this is probably good for you because you can use it on a wide variety of skin tones. But if you are a pale sister like me, you can use these two for eyeshadow. So it's definitely a multi-use highlighter kit, but I'm not going to be using that today because we're going to use this highlighter. It looks like this. Literally, it is stunning. I love this highlighter so much. Oh my gosh. The highlighter brush that I use is the ColourPop F5 brush. Um, so I'm just going to use that. And I just like to use it that area and then over here. I don't just use this brush on my nose because I like to be a little bit more precise with that. Either I'll use the same highlighter if I'm in a rush or if I'm not in a rush, then I will use one of the Ofra highlighters that I have. I got all of these highlighters from Octoly. What's new, honestly? I actually just got like a PR package from Ofra Cosmetics from Octoly. I'm like not on Ofra's PR list, but like that'd be really cool but it came in this little package and it's nikki tutorials collab i got both the cloud nine and space baby which i've actually i was actually like considering re uh, purchasing this myself but when i saw an octoly i was like cloud nine looks like this it's so stunning i don't know if you can tell on camera but there's like a pink shift to it and it's a duochrome but it looks like this it is so pretty Oh my gosh. Literally, Ofra highlighters are the best. And then I got Space Baby, which is the bluer one. Um, Yeah, it's not showing up on camera as much, but like, do you see that? Oh my gosh. So like, these aren't really everyday use, but I love them. So, but I'm actually gonna be using this one in the shade Pillow Talk for my nose and inner corner highlight because I like to use a lighter one than what I use on my cheekbones on my inner corner and nose. So I'm gonna use Pillow Talk. This is not part of the Nikki Tutorials collection, but it is one that I got from Octoly. But it's just this actual like, it's pretty much pink, <laughs> but it's not like a duochrome like the other one, but it is so pretty. Literally, Definitely recommend Ofra highlighters. For my nose and inner corner, I use this brush. It's a paint brush from Hobby Lobby, but I've been using it ever since I got it. So it is the Princeton number no. six brush, brown blender, something. So I just use this on my nose and then I'll just bring it on the bridge of my nose. And that's pretty much it. I don't like to, it to be super duper crazy. And then on my inner corners, my favorite mascara of all time is the Too Faced BTS mascara, and I just got a new one, so that's great. But I got, in the same set, I got the um, Hula Bronzer and the Gimme Brow and the Professional. I got the Benefit Dad God Bang mascara. It's definitely not my favorite mascara, so it looks like this. I think the packaging is actually so nice, but it doesn't, like, 
do my lashes as much justice as I would have liked them to. I'm still gonna use it and it's not a bad mascara by any means, but I probably won't be repurchasing it. But I do like to curl my eyelashes first. And this I think is the Trim Eyelash Curler. I've had this eyelash curler for a few years and it is amazing. I definitely recommend this eyelash curler. Okay, so then I'll just put a light coat mascara on them because I don't like to use a ton, a ton of mascara. I just like it to emphasize my eyelashes. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you guys in and show you why I don't like this mascara that much because it's just not amazing. Okay, so I don't know. It's like, it's not a bad mascara, but it just doesn't look amazing so I like to take just a spoolie from Sephora I'll just take the spoolie and I'll just run it through my eyelashes because I like them to be more like I don't I don't know it just it helps trust me <laughs> okay now it's better I feel like it's still not my favorite definitely not my favorite mascara but then for lips I don't like to do anything for my lips besides Carmex and there we have it this is the final look my hair is kind of not great right now I'm gonna add this to my hair this is also sent to me through Octoly not too long ago but it was in like a set that I got I unboxed it in my like free makeup unboxing video and um, I've used it a few times since and I actually really like it so this is the sea waves sea salt spray and I just like to squirt it in my hair when it's like wet and I don't want it to be flat and then I kind of just scrunch my hair. That's what it looks like. It's real good. Okay, and this is the completed makeup look. As you can tell, it's nothing too special, but it just like emphasizes your features and makes you look more alive because... That's great. Also, I'm pretty sure I just got highlighter on my jeans because it's still in the back of my hand. But it's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I love you guys so much. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you guys hopefully in my next video. Bye! Bye.